Good morning, fifth graders. Happy Thursday. Welcome to the math chapter nine review video for today's test. This is actually our last test for the week. So congratulations, you are almost at the finish line. Now our test will be just on dividing by a decimal. These are the materials that you'll be needing. The math textbook scans, page 206 through 207, as well as a chapter nine review file video if you wanna watch it again. I sent both of these through email on March 2nd. So just to jog your memory, this is what it looked like. And you'll need this video, of course, and paper, pencil, and eraser. We're gonna be um, relying on the honesty system. Make sure that you actually do the work instead of using a calculator. I know that all of you are capable of doing it with your brain. Okay, let's go ahead and dive in. So what's gonna be on the test? We're gonna have dividing by a power of 10, renaming fractions into decimals, dividing decimals, comparing fractions to decimals, as well as everyone's favorite word problems. Let's go ahead and review each one of these points. So first, let's go ahead and review dividing by a power of 10. We have three practice problems here. Remember that when you are dividing by a power of 10, we have a shortcut. You just have to count the number of zeros. So this one is two zeros. And then move the decimal point that many times. One, two. To the left. So now the decimal point is up here. So our answer is 0.759. Or of course, you can also write 0 0.759. Same thing. All right, next one. 61.43, it's also divided by zero, divided by 100, sorry, which has two zeros. So we're gonna move left. And so our answer will become 0.6143 or 0 0.6143, same thing. Now go ahead and pause this video and try number three on your own and then resume it. And let's see how you do. Fantastic, let's go ahead and do this. So this one might be a little bit tricky because we have, it's dividing by a thousand this time. So we have three zeros here. So we're gonna move the decimal to the left three times. So if you got 0 0.2134, then we are on the same page. Great job, guys. All right, now let's go on to renaming fractions into decimals. Remember that when we do these problems, there are two types of denominators. The first type is the denominator that can be, that can go into a power of 10. And then we have a denominator that does not fit into a power of 10. So the ones that fit into power of, powers of 10 tend to be easier. So you're gonna rename the fraction by changing the the denominator into a power of 10. By power of 10, I mean numbers such as 10, 100,000, 10,000, 100,000, etc. So now five, we know that five goes into 10 evenly. So let's go ahead and change this decimal with a power of 10. So five times blank equals 10, two. We're gonna do the same thing to the top. 4 times 2 is 8. And now we have an easier fraction to turn into a decimal because we have the denominator as 10th. We can make this fraction into a decimal by putting 8 in the 10th place. So that is our answer. All right, let's go on to number 2. What power of 10 can 20 go into? Definitely not 10, that's too small. 100? Yes, actually. So 20 times blank equals 100. Which one is it? Five, five, that's correct. So 20 times five is 100 and three times five is 15. Now we just have to put 15 in the hundredths place, which kind of 15 does that for us already. This is the 10th place and that's the hundredths place. So that is, answer, that is our answer, 0 0.15. All right, now for a tricky one, three, over eight. Well, eight does not go into any of the power 
powers of 10 evenly. So we're just going to have to divide 3 divided by 8. So go ahead and pause this video and try it on your own. And let's see what we get. Awesome. So let's do this step by step. 8 goes into 3 0 times. 0 times 8 is obviously 0. 3 minus 0 is 3. We need to annex this by adding a decimal. And also put a decimal here. It's the same. Bring down the 0. So we got 30. How many times does 8 go into 30? Goes 3 times. 3 times 8 is 24. I might need some more space here. 30 minus 24 is 6. Got to put another 0. Got 60. How many times does 8 go into 60? 7 times. 7 times 8 is 56. 60 minus 56 is 4. <laughs> Hang in there, guys. We're almost done. I know I am doing this very slowly. Um, 8, goes, 8 goes into 40 five times, and we have no more remainders, right? I don't have to write it here. 40 minus 40 is 0. Awesome. So, yeah, it took longer, but we got our answer. All right, now let's move on to just simply dividing decimals. Okay, so look at these problems. Try to see if you can solve them on your own, and pause this video and resume it again, and let's practice together. Okay, so I move number one over here for more space. 6 goes into 37 6 times. 6 times 30, six times six is 36. 37 minus 36 is 1. Bring down the 9. 6 goes into 19 how many times? If you said 3, you are correct. 19 minus 18 is 1. Bring down the, thir bring down the 3. How many times does 6 go into 13? It goes 2 times. 2 times 6 is 12. 13 minus 12 is 1. And now let's bring down the 8. How many times is 6 going to 18? It goes in 3 times exactly. Where do we put the decimal here? Remember to count the number of digits after the decimal here. So here we have two number, two digits after the decimal point. So same thing here. And so our answer for number 1 is 63.23. Now let's look at number two. Number two is different because we are we are actually dealing with we're actually dealing with a decimal divisor. So remember when you're dealing with a divisor that is a decimal, you are going to try to turn it into a whole number. So how many times can we move this decimal on the right to turn 0 0.5 into a whole number? Well, if we move it one time. 0 0.5 becomes just 5. Now we're going to do the same thing here. Remember that if it looks like there is no decimal in a number, it's actually hiding in the end of the number. So we're going to also move it to the right one time. Same thing. And then here we're going to add 100, 0. So we're actually doing 120 divided by 5, which is a lot easier. I'm sorry about my handwriting. Okay, how many times does 5 go to 12? 2 times, 12 minus 10 is 2, and then we got, bring down the 0, 5 goes into 20, how many times? Yup, so our answer, you don't have to do anything else here, the answer is 24. A little messy. Okay, let's go ahead and do number 3. So 14 goes into 51, 3 times, 3 times 14. 42, can't subtract 2 from 1, so we got to borrow, this becomes 11, and that becomes 4, 11 minus 2 is 9, bring down the 1, 14 goes into 91, 6 times, 6 times 14 is 84, we got to borrow again, so 9 becomes 8, and 1 becomes 11. 11 minus 4 is 7. Okay, now we ran out of numbers, so we're going to add a 0 here. Bring down the 0. 14 goes into 70 how many times? 5 times. 5 times 14 is, ladies and gentlemen, 
70 exactly we love it when there are no remainders okay all right well again we have two digits here after the decimal point so same thing here so the answer is 3.65 goodness it is so hard to draw on digital whiteboards okay guys thanks for sticking with me with the awful handwriting um i will go ahead and make a part two and we can look at the last two parts of the test see you soon